Hi everybody, Levi Clay here for Premier Guitar Magazine, and today I am going to be talking to you about adding some jazz bebop influences, some phrasing and some arpeggios to your blues playing, to take your blues and swing playing to the next level. Now if you are new to jazz phrasing, this is absolutely the lesson for you because we can start applying these ideas to scales and arpeggios that we already know and add them into our blues playing. I don't consider myself to be a jazz player by any stretch of the imagination. I grew up listening to blues and rock music but jazz is something that I've studied over the last 15 years now and while I have a deep love for the music it really is an influence in my other playing and I think there are some fantastic sounds that you'll be able to bring into your own playing with some of these exercises that I have written for you today. So let's check some of them out. So first up, let's talk about the swing picking concept. Now this is something that one of my old tutors used to bring up with me and it's something that makes a lot of sense when you listen to more and more jazz saxophonists. This is a big part of the way those guys phrase and it's something that we can transition onto the guitar. The concept is very simple. If we have a strict down and up motion with our picking, all of our down strokes will be on strong beats and all of our up strokes will be on weak beats. We wanna start accenting some of those weak beats and slurring or, or sliding or pulling off to those strong beats. Now, before we play this kind of stuff, let me vocalize it so you can see what I'm talking about. So if we take instead of one E and a uh, as a way of counting to four, let's just use a hard syllable, ba, 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 ba. Now what I wanna do is start introducing a soft syllable on the third of those three syllables. So ba, ba, ya, ba, 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 ya, ba. Ba -ba -ya -ba, ba -ba -ya -ba. This is a phrase that you are going to hear all the time in the playing of guys like Dizzy Gillespie or Charlie Parker. Now, let me demonstrate it on the guitar. You'll see exactly what I mean. If I take an A mixolydian mode in the fifth fret area of the guitar, it's just going to sound like this. A little bit faster. And that doesn't really sound jazz. It doesn't sound swing, even if I swing it doesn't sound right. We want to start including some of this articulation so it sounds more Now I've got an exercise that you can use in order to work on that, which is very simple. It's a six note descending motif. We're just going to descend six notes of that scale. So starting on the B, we'll descend down B, A, G, F sharp, E, and down to the D. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now if you pick all of those notes, it doesn't sound cool. But what you will notice is that constant alternate picking in my hand. Down, up, 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 down. What I want to do is on that B string where we have three consecutive notes, I want to start introducing this swing picking concept. Ba ba ya ba. So we're gonna play down, up, down, up, pull off, up. Now the key thing here is you can see my hand keeps moving. It's almost like I'm picking the string still. Now as a concept, we can then start moving that across string set. So if I start on the seventh fret of the B string, staying within that A mixolydian framework, we would have. Combine the two. And of course you could then start moving this further down through the scale. Or even ending on that A. Now that really to my ears starts sounding a lot more like that jazz swing phrasing. Now I'm playing it with a swing feel there, but the magic of this is if you start kicking it into the double time phrasing, the, the kind of really authentic bop lines that you would hear from guys like Josh Smith, who is of course still absolutely a blues player, if I'm taking a swing feel, still playing um, within my swing framework, da, 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 da. but I'm kicking from those swing notes
So kicking up into those 16th notes, you still have a straight feel to your rhythms, but this swing picking concept helps to give your phrases a uh, kind of dynamic bubbliness is the way I would describe it to my students. If you were to try and pick all of these notes, and you could absolutely do that. It doesn't sound all that interesting because think of the articulation, the way the notes sound when you pick them. Not cool. But when I start accenting these upstrokes, Now you could apply that anywhere on the guitar. If you see an A7 chord here, I could play. Nonsense like that. You get the idea. So with that in mind, with that phrasing in mind, I want to introduce you to a bunch of phrases that I've written for you to start working on this. And what you will notice is they are all based around an A7 chord. And we're introducing some arpeggios. We're introducing some arpeggios and scales. I'm really big on this idea of starting to hear arpeggios and scales as something that we can interweave together, rather than thinking, let's play arpeggio, now let's play scale. Uh, so the first way that we would start looking at practicing that is by playing arpeggio then scale. So in that open, uh, sorry, fifth fret position, if you are familiar with your A7 arpeggio, that's really important. It's got the root, the third, the fifth, and the flat seven of our chord. Really important. And the Mixolydian scale. contains the notes of that A7 arpeggio. Working on this exercise is as simple as moving up four notes of our arpeggio, and then down four notes of our scale. Four notes of my arpeggio, starting on the fifth. Four notes of my scale. Arpeggio, arpeggio, scale. Arpeggio, scale. If I play that slowly, you'll have this. really starts to make that scale come to life. It starts to make it sound a little bit more jazz. So let me take you through these licks. I'm going to play through them not too quickly, but of course these are all transcribed. You can download the transcriptions for them so you can really start to get to grips with them. So the first idea, super simple. So we're going to fit around our A triad, the fifth fret, and we're going to play. As an idea. start integrating that in the middle of longer runs. Now I'm a big fan of that arpeggio scale. Ascend arpeggio, descend scale. In fact, the next lick really takes that concept to the next level, moving up to this slightly trickier arpeggio. Uh, it's really kind of like a minor seven flat five sound where we go. So still starting on the third of my A7 chord. And we're going to play. Now when you watch me play through something like that, look at my picking hand and just watch it, the, the constant motion that's happening in the hand. couldn't play that by adding in sweeps and all these kind of rests in the in the picking hand. I want that solid rhythm in there. Same idea though, I could integrate that. Helps 
course, if you play the right notes. Get the idea. So that's example two. The third example sounds like this. Faster. And the fun of a lick like that is when you move that up at speed, it feels really good and the picking hand is the thing that just keeps you in time. Super cool lick. Now, as I descend through some of these licks, uh, they get a little bit more complicated. Here is a trickier example that uses a little bit more chromatics, but the same idea is still there. Ba ba ya ba 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 ya ba. That's the lick. When you're working on a lick like that, looking at the transcription, you'll notice every single pull off, every single slide happens after an upstroke. And you really see me moving my pick down, even when I'm not picking the string. Helps if you play the right lick. Slick. Now finally I've got a longer example for you. This one is a full four bar example and moving from the higher position on the guitar all the way down to this kind of open area. Finger twister. Sounds like this when played slow. A little bit faster. speed. Really fun lick that moves, like I say, all around that position and really getting to grips with the notes of the arpeggio. Or, and the notes of the scale. So there we have it, it's a simple concept that you can devote a lot of time to. The combination of arpeggios and scales, along with this articulation concept, this soft and hard idea. Ba -ba -ya -ba, ba -ba -ya -ba, ba -ba -ya -ba. If you can start to integrate that rhythm, that sound into your playing and realize that when you play the instrument, your goal is to not just play notes, but play notes and make them sound the way that you want them to sound for everything to be authentic. If you can start to integrate that sound into your ears, Ba -ba -ya -ba, ba -ba -ya -ba. you're really going to start to bring some of this jazz phrasing to your blues playing. It's a wonderful sound and I'm sure you are going to have a great deal of fun with it. My name has been Levi Clay, you can go and check me out on YouTube and I hope you've had a great time in this lesson and I will see you for more lessons here on Premier Guitar very soon. Laters.